Raira, unajua hii mambo ya ICC ilikuwa ni mambo kidogo sana ambayo tungemalizia hapa hapa ijiti. Hesi pale nyingine. Hmm? Hapa hapa tu. Hakuna kwingine. Serikali si serikali ilikuwa imejitolea mwanga kumaliza hii mambo hapa na loko tulibina Hai. mzee. The exorcism is an African political satire that you know has been around for a while you know going to our seventh season and the nature of the show is that we do a lot of political and social commentary on the issues affecting Kenyans Kirai tu can you come over right now lonely let's take it over me need you tonight my chama bashtinga and adiku one is that they have pushed the limits on freedom of expression and especially the right to creativity because they are able to highlight the, uh, they look at what I would call the physical characteristics of uh, different personalities or different people and exaggerate them to bring out the, the artistic or the, you know, the humorous quality behind it. I need your new yellows and I can't live without you, Mr. 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 Muda. That particular conversation, dialogue uh, between opposing views through using caricature and also uh, using um, uh, the actual characters but in an artistic uh, context is something that uh, earlier on could not have been uh, done by uh, standard political comedies. Do you, Uhuru, Tekruto and Kalonzo? To be a lawfully wedded wife, to love and to hold for richer and for poorer through sickness and the Hague till 2012. It more or less trains us to start thinking outside the box that, you know, away from your conventional slapstick comedy, which will always, in many times, history has shown, will get you in trouble with the, force, you know, the powers that be. Satire gives us the opportunity to sort of um, to, to whip, you know, to, to, to crack the whip, but in a very sort of subtle and very, very approachable way that is easier to digest, one, by the political class and also by the Kenyans themselves. I like it because, you know, it's a political, satirical show that, you know, that brings out so many characters in the whole of Kenya and, you know, uh, the entire Africa. By this gun, do so the most swear by this gun, as I will not leave office, that I will not leave office till I have taken over all the islands of Lake Victoria. Till I have taken over all the islands of Lake Victoria. to BBC and there's a reason it's because it has it really touched the chord of people's conscience conscience in Kenya and it's in Swahili and it's in Sheng and it's in music and it's so grassrootsy that ordinary Kenyans watch it and we all laugh and we laugh at our politicians and it's so important because laughter cuts through the the veil of uh, mystification that the politicians put up. I've been uh, approached, um, um, you know, by some organization in Senegal, and um, we have been in discussions. They invited us there, uh, you know, but uh, nothing has materialized yet. So we hope that everything will go. Well, we, we have managed actually to, there is a similar show in, in Tanzania now, which, you know, we, we have done the puppets for them. Uh, they do short clips, five, five minutes, five minutes, and uh, they, they, they've just uh, done their first season, I think they're about to end their first season. So that has been a you know, success. Hey, what do you see when you look in at me? On a mission to be what I'm destined to be.